Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm. Today we're gonna be playing a Zerg vs Zerg live game and I'm actually playing this one at the exact same time as I'm also giving commentary for it or to it or on it or I don't know exactly what the correct word is right there. But anyway, it's going to be a Zerg vs Zerg on Merry Go Round Ellie, meaning that it is going to be quite a tricky one. Uh, I've been playing. I've been playing this map a whole lot more often than I actually used to. I used to be. Um, I used to never play this map because I've never really enjoyed it that much. Um, but um, recently, I've been switching out my map pools again, and this map has been coming up a whole lot more often than I used to. Now, on this map in Zerk for the Zerk, especially, it is kind of difficult to like wall up. As you can see right here, the front of my natural. Did I make an overlord? Oh my god, I didn't make an overlord. I was trying to show off right there. Why well, I haven't really played this map very much. Alright, we're going for a double extracted trick. We're going for a double extracted trick. Panic mode activated. No, we're good, we're good. This is just a bit unfortunate, I suppose. Anyways, uh, this big ass ramp right here at the front is kind of difficult to wall off if it isn't like in a later part of the game. It's not nearly as easy as some of the other maps uh, where you can just wall with like two evos and two queens. On this way you need to wall with three buildings and, you know, it's just a little bit less inconvenient. Um, looks like my own opponent has spawned right here in the top right corner, so it looks like the bottom half of the map will not really be used. Um, and because I messed up in the early part of the game, I was gonna go for a hatchery first, but I'm gonna just go for the pool first. Um, a little bit safer right there, and I'm gonna follow it up with a hatchery also at 15. Now, I get a lot of questions from people asking like, okay, what is the difference between a 15 pool and 15 hatcher, or a 15 pool and 17 hatcher, a 15 pool and 16 hatch? Like, their difference is honestly... Neglectable. There's really there's there's really no big difference in these build orders at all. Um, so if you're one of these people that is wondering that, don't over obsess about it. It really doesn't matter if you go 15 pool or 16 hatch or 15 pool and 15 hatch. Like it doesn't really doesn't really matter as long as like anywhere between 14 to 17 should be all right. Now, looks like my opponent actually went for uh, a little bit of cheese right here. Um, gotta keep my hatchery up because the only thing I really need to do is not defend. Um, and I think we're good actually. I think we're good. I'm gonna start two sets of Zerglings, and I will also start a spine crawler, because I can. And I'm kind of glad actually that I uh, forgot to make that Overlord early game, because now right now I will have a much easier time dealing with anything that my opponent can throw at me. Uh, reason, by the way, why I'm keeping my hatchery alive is simply for the fact that I know that my opponent is likely gonna attack it. There we go. He's actually attacking it. So right now it's just a huge ass human shield, pretty much. Um, and I'm just gonna try and buy time. Now he's likely gonna go for the council on this building, but keep in mind that all the time this is going on. My opponent doesn't really have very much. So even though he's dealing some damage right here, that's alright with me. Just trying to dance, hopefully I will be able to keep it alive, that'd be nice. Doesn't really matter all that much though, I can still cancel it. I'm actually gonna cancel it, might as well. There's no point in keeping it alive, he still doesn't have his own hatchery either. So I'm just gonna go for the main base. Now keep in mind, right now I have a much bigger amount of drones than my opponent has. Which is very, very useful. Let's see if we can keep that drone alive as well, just like we did. And we're good. We're good. Alright, great. Let's not randomly lose units. That would also be nice. Now what are we gonna go for a follow-up? Um, I'm thinking of going for just a max saturation for now and maybe switching to roaches very soon. Probably my best bet. It's always a bit difficult to play in these sort of positions. Um, now why are my drones rallying randomly? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Anyway, did I make an overlord? No, I did not just yet. Looks like my opponent actually just finished up Zerkling Speed, as you can see right there. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna play it super safe. Um, for the time being, not gonna expand. Looks like he's gonna expand right now. But obviously, all the time, he probably has a smaller eco than me. I mean, it's very difficult for him to be even remotely in eco right now, simply because of the fact that he did spend so much in the early part of the game. Gonna start my lair up, might as well. <clears throat> and I'm gonna save up a couple of minerals, some gas. Um, just to make sure that I can start. Oh, actually, he's actually in my main base right now almost. Alright, gonna start a couple of roaches, what I've been saving up for. And once these roaches spawn, I should be able to go for the expansion myself. <clears throat> now, this isn't as ideal as it was previously, because my opponent right now does have a hatchery up. Uh, but we should still be alright right here. Gonna try my best. Roaches should spawn right now. There we go. Gonna bring my queens down as well. Because it will make it a lot easier. No, 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 no. Alright, so you will get the cancel on it. Made a big round of drones right there as well. 
And I'm gonna start circling speed. What we could actually do is go for a bit of a cheese right here. He probably thinks that I'm taking the expo right now, which I am not. I hope I can actually deny him from my natural. That would be that would actually be quite huge. If I would be able to do that. I'm gonna start making units right now again. One of my queens, you can come with me. I don't think he's aware currently that I don't have my expansion up, so let's see if we can go for a bit of a timing. This is me testing things, by the way. Don't know if this is going to be the smartest move. What I'm trying to do right here is deny my opponent vision of my natural for as long as possible. And the idea is right now that my opponent thinks that I'm going for an expansion, but I'm really not. Um, like I said, this might not be the be very best thing to do, but hey, this is why we ladder, right? This is why I'm playing the ladder, to just try out random things like this. Tricking your opponent, does it work after he gets an expansion up like this, or will I get completely steamrolled? We will find out, we will find out together. Let's see if we can also shoo away that Overlord, that would be huge if I manage to get that as well. Roach Speed about to finish up. Should actually make a couple extra Overlords. Alright, I'm not gonna show him all the Roaches, I'm gonna show the three Roaches that he saw previously. And if he doesn't, like, I think he won't see this. I think he won't see this at all. Alright, this is as tricky as it can be, pretty much. Alright, we're going. I'm going. Got a bit too much gas, gonna pull Druid Runs out of it, and I'm gonna expand in a bit as well. Alright, I need to try and do as much damage as possible right now, though. This is, this is funky, this is funky. Looks like we got there right before I can do anything. Which is great, this might very well work. I think it did. Gonna go for the expansion right now. As long as I make sure that this army does not like stack together, I should be in a good position. Gonna put these roaches on the ramp, just so the natural roaches won't come in. And as long as I deal with the ones in the main, I should be in a great position. Alright, you guys can come in right now as well. And it looks like we managed to win right there, so that was a bit tricky right there by me. Uh, my opponent definitely did think... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, my opponent definitely did think that I made the expansion in my natural, and I made it look like it. Um, turns out I really didn't, and I was just messing roaches all along. So, sometimes you need to be pulling out a couple of wonky strategies in Zerk vs Zerk. I think this one is a pretty good example. If you enjoyed the game, make sure you hit the like button. If you really didn't enjoy it at all, make sure you hit that dislike button. But whatever you do, hit subscribe because you will be the very first one to get a notification when I upload another video. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye!